Logging into your initial Discovery for Education website, you'll see your curriculum at the top. Ours is the science tech book. As we move down, we see suggested activities, things that are timely, such as Earth Day, which is relevant to the time that I'm making this video now. And for any of these, these are great activities that you can jump into on the fly. Just simply select the one you want, and it will take you to that whole unit. Now you have opportunities for quizzes and videos, stories. There's different activities that you can incorporate uh, all right here. As we continue to move down, we'll see other videos for you. These are closely aligned with either the time of the year or what you're studying. There are TOPS news stories from Scripps News to help you create some current events in your classroom, other educator supports, or Discovery for Education originals. If you go back to the top and select your tech book or your curriculum, it'll bring you into the last place that you left off. For me, this was back in third grade. So you can see that you can go by specific grades. I have access to several uh, because I cover multiple grade levels. But you select any of the ones that you want. You can see that grade three and grade one, for example, are formatted very, very similarly. So there's your overview, your table of contents, any standards that you're working with, different course materials, and then every specific unit and lesson is labeled below. So let's go back to third grade and take a look at one of these activities. So this is the first unit, Playground Forces. I could view the whole unit if I want. It'll give me all of my information, my anchors, my standards, different projects and concepts. Everything is laid out very nicely for me to easily understand and get the information of my students. So if I wanna dig into just a lesson, this is concept 2-1, uh, let's dig into uh, one of these specific lessons and see what they have to offer. So when I view the concept, it goes into just that lesson. You'll see that the lesson itself has actually five different sections. So there's the introduction, and this is the teacher section. So it operates just like the student section, except it includes things like your standards and other instructions and directions. If I move over into the wonder section, I can download the entire lesson plan of each section. And at any time, I can select a sign here on the right and assign it to any of my classes. So I only have one class, it's a test class. I select the class that I want, I select the dates that I want the activity to run, and then I select assign. And there it is, it's already scheduled for my students. And in another video, we can look into that. If I select return, I can look for other things to add. So we have hands-on activities, we have analysis, we have reading, we have visual literacy, and we even have assessments built right into the activities. So you can see again from the teacher version that give me a bit of a canned curriculum introduction. And then I have access to everything that students themselves have access to. Uh, if I click next, it moves into the next part of the activity and I can move right through uh, all of my units like this. There's also an option to print any section. Simply select the print icon next to the area or next to print. I have an option to dig into any assigned work and then grade right here. I can see all of my students listed on the left, all of my classes at the top, and I have the option to either hide student names or not. So I could use this as a teaching tool to show students correct or incorrect answers. So you can see here as the teacher version, I have an option to look into the evaluation criteria and any specific right answers, things that might be there. So again, I can assign, I can view results, or I have a glossary built in to the right. This glossary also exists for students. So if there are any particular vocabulary words that pop up and they're not sure of them, they can look at them in real time or they can adapt the language. At the top of this, I can go to my teacher view and turn it over to student view. So now you see that all of my instructions have disappeared and all that I'm left with is what students have to work with. So this would be the exact student version that is assigned to them. They can answer right in here and then submit when they're done. A lot of these activities will also self-grade, which is nice because it frees up the teachers a little bit, um, but anything that is open-ended will still need to be manually graded. If you go back to your main page, you can see all of your assignments here, as well as other tools like browsing the standard. There's a studio to create presentations. There's an assessment builder and a quiz maker. 
At any time, if I choose assignments on the left hand side here, I can see all of my total assigned work. I have four that I played around with. I can see what is completed and in need of grading, and I can even change the date range of what I want to assess.